Hey guys, KKG and welcome to Young and Proud Educators where we speak everything education. I mean everything education. Guys, in this video I'm going to continue reflecting on our on our teaching and learning, on my mistake, on my growth, and I'm going to share what's good, I'm going to share what's bad. Somebody might need it somewhere and and or maybe people might might need that kind of experience or they need that kind of knowledge somewhere sometime in, in their lives. So I'm going to continue doing it. So in this video, I'm going to speak. I'm going to speak about the, the challenges that we have as we navigate our way around online um, teaching and how to fix or to, to resolve the problems. Okay, um, the first one is um, the students. Mainly, guys, mainly I'm speaking about Google Classroom, Google Meet, Google Apps. That's what I'm on about. So, so let's say we, we, we teach you. And as we teach, you'll see the child um, somewhere in their home trying to navigate around Google Classroom, um, Google Meet. And they will click on, they will click on um, um, present. Then you'll see it's going to pop on the screen and they're going to start presenting. And you tell the child, stop presenting, stop presenting, stop presenting. <laughs> like a lot of it. Stop presenting, stop presenting. The child doesn't know what, what's happening. They don't know what they did. And as you say, as you tell them that they need to stop presenting, they don't know how to respond. They don't know how to go about it. So, um, Google uh, Meet has um, created a part where you can, can stop the, the, the participants from, pre uh, from presenting. Like you as the host, you'll be the only person who can present. And this is how to go about it. You will meet. You will then come right here. A host control. Once you click on it, it has all of this meet safe, safety. Use this for settings to keep control of your meeting. So you control your meeting. As I've mentioned earlier, um, quick access. Um, when turn off, everyone who isn't invited must ask to join in like we control. Everybody is not part of the organization, then they can come in. So in this case, you're not going to have people just coming into your meet and do as they please. So they're going to ask for permission. And this one year, so that's how you control it. Let everyone so the way it is now, I allow all everybody in the meeting to share. So you know, like when you work with the little one, they do whatever they like whenever they please. So often I disable it so they don't so the second the challenge might be um when you guys um when you as a teacher like you you know like there's time for talking like where you go where you're taking your kids into the journey your students to the journey where you explain or breaking down um the concept into details and you really want them to to get it therefore you you really don't want to have the distractions happening everywhere and particularly when it comes to chat section like the guys there, they chat, they chat. Sometimes it's really, really, really annoying, annoying to the highest level ever because you are teaching them a very important concept that they need to get it. And on the other side, they just on the chat section and they just playing and playing and, and just talk playing, like blunt playing. So it means they're not listening to you. Instead, they listen, they're looking at the chat section. Whoever says something and they do that, like they're correcting others and it's it's a necessary um, um responses on chat necessary conversation happening on chat so this is how to go about stopping students from just talking talking on on chat i know chat is quite important quite um, chat is quite important for instance i use it like when i do my teaching and there's a child who needs to ask a question or who doesn't understand i ask them to type um can i ask a question or or please can I say something, or please can I share. It's, it's a beautiful way that we use to connect. So it's important for you to be there as, as in, the, in the meeting. But sometimes it's misused, it's abused by the student. So let me show you how to go about, how to go about um, making sure that you enable it and you disable it. So you can use it when you really need to have a conversation with your student, when you need to collaborate, when you need to explain to them, you just dis um, disable so they don't do not, so they do not 
come back and just mess up as you speak. So let me show you how to do it. Closed controls. Then if you don't want your guys to chat right here, there's a lot that they do here. When you're busy teaching the message, you're gonna run right here. You don't want that to happen. Then you will come right here. Post control. Send chat messages. You don't want them to send any chat message. Then right there, let everyone send messages. Then it's off. And activate here. There's two ways to do it, to go about it. From this side and from this side here. Get it. Control it. So you have option to manage. Guys, right, folks, we learn together. If you have anything that you like to share, any skill or anything that will help the community of teachers, and and you're gonna progress and share the skills and um, information, please share at the, at the comment section below. Um, share a link if you have a link, and let's continue educating the students let continue with the business the business of educating the future whoever whoever but now guys peace